Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. What we're looking at in this video is a really excellent app that you can add to Android TVs that open up a whole lot more possibilities for Plex users. We're working here with an NVIDIA Shield, the most powerful Android TV device out there, and we're going to, and we're just kind of, you know, as you see, scanning through what we know as channel rows for Android TV. There's a number of them, you know, Netflix, there's an HBO Max, Amazon, and basically a big collection of kind of like the mainstream major services. And what they do is they allow you to see the sorts of things that are on there so that you can jump into content and see some things that you might like. That's, about, that's a basic function of Android TV. And you see down here that you can toggle options on and off. Within Plex, it gives you two options. You've got, you see the free movies and TV from Plex and recommendations, which is going to be based on everything from their free stuff to maybe something that you've got in your server. So you can turn both of those on and have two Plex rows. And as you see, there's a lot of other options that have multiple things. You know, YouTube has five, Sling TV has five. We don't have them all on, but you see that there's actually a whole lot of things you can put on your home screen. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to turn off all of the other things. All of the other apps, we're just going to turn them off. There's no comment on the value of the apps, but... We're going to try to show you something with Plex here that's a lot different than you are used to as far as the way that you can interact with your server and with the things that Plex has to offer. So we're just turning off everything so that we can get a, a more clean home screen. So I think we've got everything. Let's see. Oh, looks like we've still got an HBO Max not unchecked so let's hop in again yep okay there it is featured all right so now the only thing outside of the play next row is a couple of things from plex and what we're going to do is show you an app that allows you to put a lot more of the content that's available through Plex onto your home screen. You might not realize it, but the NVIDIA Shield actually has multiple Plex options. For, for one, it does have a Plex media server built in. It's got the basic Plex media player app. And developers out there independently, of course, are always working with something new for Android devices. And users of things like the NVIDIA Shield or the Google Chromecast with Google TV built in get more options than maybe some others that use Plex apps on different devices. So let's see how to find it. Just writing Plex is going to pull up the main Plex app. We've got it already. It tells us to open it. So we're going to go back and search a different way. Clear that up, start writing PLE, and it sees your Plex and the Plex media server. Again, this isn't quite what we're looking for. So because this is a Plex channels edition, we're going to look under Plex channels and see what kinds of things we pull up here. All right, let's see what we got here. There we are, Channel Connect. So that's what you actually need to look for is Channel Connect. Yours might just pull it up as soon as you write Plex. And I can't guarantee it. But from here, you just install the app. The app is free to download, but you will see in the settings that there are some pro features. The core, though, the core features are available for free. That was a pretty fast download. We have a new AT&T 
fiber connection. It's, it's well over 300 megabits per second, so I can't guarantee you you'll be able to download that quickly. So as you see, you want to get started and you choose an account that you're going to use. After you do that, you just sign in using that URL listed. Remember, that code on my screen is my code. You will have a different code. So do not go to Plex.tv link and type in TN8B unless your Plex happens to recommend the exact same thing. So I'm doing that on a separate screen, and it almost instantly connected. And now you select whichever Plex server you're using. And this is where you start seeing some fun stuff. Choose the Plex server that you have spent the most time customizing and things like that. And you will see that each section here, you got music, TV, and movie channels. And it asks you to configure them. And what this does is it's a whole lot like what you see on the Android TV home screen. You see the little arrows, which imply, you know, more options. But within the movies, all of those are available. If you don't want them, you see down at the bottom, there is an option for disable. And that will prevent the various channels from appearing on the Plex screen. We'll back out of that. Just jump into the TV channel, same thing. Look at all those different options. Again, if you don't want Rediscover, you can disable it. But they're all listed like this so that you can take a look, see what you want, and add it to the mix. Or in, in this case, it's sort of added by default so you can take it out of the mix and then not have it on your home screen. So we're just going to finish that up and move along and just say we're finished. Let it set up. I'm going to say OK. And let the program do its job. This is really the only thing that takes even a second. All right. So once you've gone through OK, you pull up your basic stuff. This is all of the kind of nuts and bolts behind the Channel Connect. You'll see that you've got options to hide things, and it also shows you some of the features that you have, can only get via the Pro Edition. But like I said, this without the Pro Edition offers quite a bit. So, we're jumping out into the NVIDIA Shield home screen here, and you'll see that from the, the start, you still just have the same thing that we kind of left it with. It's those basic Plex channels, except for the Plex Connect New Movies row that's on there. Apparently that's kind of a default. You see the little blue light there. But as you scroll down, you see all of the new options that you can add to your home screen. You might notice that off screen, it is changing as we go, at least for the first couple. But we're just going to turn on every single one of these options. Well, we'll keep that one off because the channel is empty anyway. So Artist on Tour, that clears it out. And now let's take a look at the home screen for the NVIDIA Shield. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, you know you, knew, you know you liked the count back when you were a kid. But as we go through, you see it. There are tons of new Plex channels listed in the channel row. Now, of course, you don't have to take all of the other options that are built into Android TV off. You can leave them there. It's no problem. But I'm just trying to highlight the fact that Plex can offer so many things. And this app allows you to see a whole lot more of what is offered. Now, this pairs with what I've you know found very exciting, which is Plex has a new app. 
I don't know whether you've seen it in any of our previous videos, but Plex has started a new app. I just clicked on the wrong one there. I'm going to up in the Google Play Store. Plex's new app allows you to search multiple things at once and for in fact almost everything that you might have installed on your Android TV device can be searched and launch things from the Plex app and you know it doesn't matter whether it's on Netflix or Plex or Pluto TV you can jump right in that's all part of their new beta program called Discover So it's yet another cool Plex tool that is available in Android TV and other formats. But honestly, I think that Android TV is the most powerful way to use this Plex app because it allows you to jump out of the Plex screen directly into services. And as we mentioned, there is also the Plex media server that's built into the NVIDIA Shield. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you've got that updated. And again, you just start typing Plex. Apparently, once you finish typing Plex, it doesn't know what you're looking for. So we'll type Ple. And there's the Plex Media Server. You just want to click on that and update it. It's something that's built into the system. So you don't have to think about it too much, but with the Plex Pro, excuse me, the NVIDIA Shield Pro, you launch it, and depending on what you want to do, you can hook up big external hard drives and keep lots of things on there so that you can access them later and build up hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of movies and TV shows and other media. But that's it. That is the new... Well, actually, it's not a new app, but I think it's a cool app, and it's one that I've seen is pretty much underreported. That Channel Connect app really opens up a lot more of what you can do with Plex. That's, of course, available within your own Plex app, but if you don't want to have to jump in and out of apps and you see what's out there, what's being recommended, this is a great way to do so while also integrating it in with other services that you might be taking advantage of, like Netflix or Amazon Prime Video or anything else that's available through your Android TV. I hope you found that helpful, and if you did, please subscribe to this channel, share this video with your friends, and as always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Click the likes, and as always, stream on, my friends.